18th century in Calabar, southern Nigeria, twins were regarded as evil and giving birth to them was an abomination. The killing of twins persisted and it took the intervention of Scottish missionary Mary Slessor for this to end. While the killings of twins persisted, a town in Nigeria in the southwest was growing its population base. There are three places in the world with the highest rate of twin births. Kondihi in India, Candido Godoy of Brazil and Iguora in Nigeria are in the history books for the phenomenal number of twin births in the world. Some 80 kilometers away from Lagos, Nigeria's commercial nerve center is Igwara, a sleepy agrarian community in the Barapa Central local government area of Oyo State, which proudly calls itself the nation's home of twins. Under this rusty roof are households that make up the population of Igwara. Igwara, as the name entails, is globally known as the home of them. Um, Twins. I can see. I can say authoritatively that um, we are enjoying from the past glory of our forefathers, because then in the olden days, our forefathers regarded twins as a special creation. So thereby regarding them as a special deity, they regarded them as a, a, a small god whom they, bear, they worship, because they believe that. You asking for one and two, three coming is a kind of blessing from God. So as a result of that, they nourish our, their twins then with a special um, welcoming package. In 2001, the population of the town stood at 60,000. And in 2017, the population was estimated to be 92,000. Years upon years and without accurate data, coupled with the continuous birth of twins, and other multiples, the population could be higher. The numbers increase exponentially with each passing year. In the 1970s, British gynecologist Patrick Nylander in his research found out that an average of 45 to 50 sets of twins were born out of every 1,000 births in southwest Nigeria, one of the highest rates of twin births in the world. And in southwest Nigeria, Ogwara's place on the twin map is unrivaled. The town's unusually high number of multiple birds continue to baffle genetic researchers and fertility experts across the world. A much bigger representation of this fact is this life-size statue at a roundabout in the community, depicting a mother with a child in her hands and another tied with a girdle on the back as the twins raise their hands in the air in obvious jubilation. Twins are celebrated all year round as signs of good fortune. Statistics show that there is an average of 158 twins per 1,000 birds here. In its harvest of doubles, almost every household in the community has a set of twins. Identical twins, paternal twins, twins of the same sex, twins of different sexes. Taiwo is the name of the first-born twin. Kendi is the name of the second. Merely calling on these names in a public place could elicit the same response from three to four quarters. I have twins. Mine are girls. And my husband have about uh, three pairs of twins. Here in Ebuara, we cherish the work of God that for a woman to have two, two babies 
in I'm home for nine months. So as a result of that, immediately the twins are born, people will come from all walks of life to rejoice with the parents. The parents will get ready their, uh, by cooking beans, porridge, and all sorts of food. So different people will come from different areas, different dramas. They will come around to rejoice with the parents, the parents of the twins. Being a mother of uh, twins, it will add more to anything you have. People will bring food money, cloth, so you don't need to buy anything in the olden days, not now. In the olden days, you don't need to buy anything. That is uh, why people say that in the majority they die or or ill 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 or If you are fortunate to have a twin baby now, before people come to help you, you have to help yourself. Twins are regularly praised with different songs and poetry. The Daosi twins have been living together for more than three decades. Born in the 1950s, they are married and live in this house with their wives and children. While their duplicate facial features bind them together, their interests are poles apart. Taiwo is a carpenter and Kendi is a bricklayer. And something they obviously share in common is the choice of their footwear. <laughs> What exactly is the reason for the multiple birds in this rustic town? Could it be in the water, the diet, the soil used to plant crops, the air in the genes breathe, or genes passed on from generation to generation? No one really knows. A school of thoughts attributes this phenomenon to God's benevolence. It isn't our making. Record from birth, I mean from maternities and so on, all over Ebola, compared with other places all over the world. There and then, it has been arrived at that the largest number of twins we have in the world come from Ebola. But what really accounted for it is beyond human understanding. Some people claim because of the soup we eat, some claim because of type of yams, all this and that. Nobody can really say there is no, what is it, uh, certain records or discovery that we surely, that we really confirm that this is the cause. Otherwise, other people that want um, twins would have adopted that one. Do you have twins? Hmm? Do you have twins? Oh, my second born, they were twins. While some are still pondering on the cause of the town's multiple births, many of the indigenes have a belief that the twinning phenomenon largely rests on the town's delicacy. Amala, 
a popular morsel meal made from yam and cassava flour, and the traditional elasa soup made from okra leaves with some local condiments. In one of the markets, a women will make brisk business selling the okra leaves are quick to agree that it is indeed responsible for the twins industry. When we cook this okra leaf, we eat it immediately. For as long as I have known people eat this okra leaf, we've been giving birth to twins. I gave birth to eight sets of twins, but only four sets are alive. Twins are very good. We have a special festival for them, which we mark by eating beans and porridge. Another school of thought has another explanation for this phenomenon. The question I used to ask people is that we have seven major towns in Ibarapa. All the major towns will eat Ilasa, we eat Egusi, we eat this Lagidimbi yam. How come that it is only here in Ibarapa? It might be inside our water, it might be inside the air we breathe in. Take for instance now, if um, you want to cook Ilasa now, they will tell you that you must cook it with Ibarapa water. Hmm? If you cook it with other uh, place water, it won't have the normal aroma. And scientifically, it's not yet proved. People have been here from Lut to do several research as regards to it. They have not been able to get to a logical conclusion as regards that. Then there is this school of thought as well as um, um, this Elasa soup has a, a traces of um, uh, a, 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 an hormone responsible mod for multiple but called oestrogen. And this oestrogen content could only be traced if you cook Ilasa with Ibora water. Without, without Ibora water, there is no way you can. So it has not been logically proven. So if anybody says it is Ilasa, it is, I don't subscribe to that uh, belief. You had the same picture of Yam as a cultured have been grown and people have taken it, they didn't get similar high level of um, training. So thus far scientifically nobody can say this is the reason. But one of the plausible reasons is that the hereditary aspect of it. Because maybe over the years because they intermarry, you now have that gene being pulled and concentrated in that environment. Many factors has to be accrued to that. The genetics, yes the environment, the disposition and a fertile woman. When we ingest and the stomach digest it and release the ingredients, it helps to do so many enzymatic reactions. So probably what they eat has a lot of things that can stimulate multiple eggs in the ovary. It's a new day and preparations begin for the signature soup at Falilatu Olawumi's restaurant reputed to be one of the best places to have a bill of yam flour and the much touted ilasa soup. Everything is fresh from the okra leaves to the grinded melon seeds. The green okra leaves are tenderly plucked, not from the stem but from the midrib. A pot of boiling water and a lot of potash. Leaves are arranged neatly and then sliced into tiny bits then poured into the water. Leaves shrink gradually and it is stirred thoroughly to give a green mixture. A broom specifically made for cooking purposes is used to mash the leaves to ensure consistency then a lot of melon is added. Onions and locust beans are added to the mix. Streams of bubbles form and the mix is stirred continuously. The accompaniment are mala steamy and hot. try <laughs> So what day we go? We go see how many times to do the last year long. So I will not to saw the big pay. What the big pay last year? Oh, my Allah, look. We don't get caramadron. 
All the communities in the Barapa district is this delicacy, but only Igwara has a burgeoning twins industry. At a break period in Nawardin school, at least nine sets of twins assembled on the field. Teachers take pride in parading their twins whenever the opportunity presents itself. A set of taboos and beliefs is handed down by long dead ancestors. Twins are believed to possess one soul between them. This belief accounts for a whole series of distinctive rituals. Historically, we believe uh, that um, twins are inheritance of Ijimeri, monkeys. So it's also abominable for any twin to eat monkey. Yeah, that's another abomination. It's, it's, it, 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 twins must not even near it because they believe that they emanated from Ijimeri, deity. So eating or doing anything for them is like abusing their progenitors. So it's abominable for a twin to touch palm kernel oil and it's abominable for a twin to eat monkeys. Twins don't die in Igbora. We don't regard uh, twin being dead. When a twin, a, a twin dies, we believe he, he, he or she has gone to Lagos to buy cloth for the other living one. Instead of uh, forgetting the, the, the dead twins, we, we in place create a special carving. We call it FEG. So whatever is done for the living twin has to be repli uh, replicated to the, to the dead one. We consult our fathers, they, consult, they always consult Oracle on where and how to bury the dead uh, twins. And after burying it, whatever happened to the living, like if you are giving the living death, the, the, the living twin a gift, you have to, even no matter how small, you have to give it to the dead one. And ever since then, we, we regarded them as a special creature that even in the area of, in the aspect of security, our fathers then, they use them as security. One of the many treasures of African sculpture left behind, these effigies, carved from wood, are more than 300 years old. These five effigies belong to the family of the late monarch of Bako, area of Igbora, or Balamidi Akinyemi, and these carvings represent the dead twins in the family. Inherited by my father from his father. His father inherited it from his great grandfather, which means the, these effigies are as old as this um, community. If, in case there is any theft now, they will just bring this effigy out, they bow for it, after bowing for it, it's abomi abomination for uh, this effigy to be touched with a uh, palm kernel. They will now rub the body with palm kernel because it's abomination for Pamkane to have touched this um, particular effigy. And I'll be telling the effigy that it was the person that stole my this thing that said I should use this thing to rub your body within the next seven days. So, so must happen to the person. And it always happened then. Civilization is gradually eroding some of the beliefs and rituals associated with twins. Frequent births of multiples has informed the need for quality planning and child spacing. The population explosion is having a negative effect on already stretched facilities in the community and many locals are now subscribing to family planning. As you know that Igora is home of twins, so the trend still continues. So we have at least in a month, on an, uh, on an average we can say between 15 and 20. Because these days, the rate, the delivery 
rate has reduced because of family planning. So, most uh, many people they are family planning because of the economic situation of the country. Many women here have more than a set of twins. Karima Tkwadri is pregnant again. She's a mother of two sets of twins and she still hopes for more. <laughs> While many are eagerly waiting for the privilege of becoming parents to twins or other multiples, the blessing of twins may be an economic burden to some. I'm on school, I'm on school. So, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit. So, I'm going to be a little bit. So, I'm going to be a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit. Igbora takes pride in its twins industry and indigenous are seeking awareness for the Twins Festival as a way of encouraging tourism. More than 2,000 twins attended the maiden edition of the Twins Festival sponsored by the state government in 2018. In isolation, Asia has been celebrating Twins Festival like in China. And we have sent delegation there. America has been doing it. We sent delegation there. Kenya did it and we've sent delegation there. But these people cannot boast of the equal population of living twins. There's even a difference between living twins and dead. You may have twins, one might have gone. It may remain one. But in Nibora, we have more of living things than those that have parted. Like the other time, the program, the program, you no, know, was uh, drawn by the government, and uh, um, there are some souvenirs which the government distributed to the twins who participated. Then. That is a contribution from the government. Both local government and then the state government, they have been contributing. And then I know they will not relent their efforts in the subsequent uh, celebration. We still expect them to contribute more financially, then uh, materially, and other things that will bring to success the celebration. For thousands of years to come, the secret ingredient to the phenomenon may never be found. The world waits with bated breath as scientists continue trying to unravel the twin puzzle of this sleepy town.